Right, we'll get the gearbox out on this one. So get seat out of the way because they're just in the way, basically. Right, let's kick start off. I've already taken the bolt out of that because I stole it. Your chain guard off. This should just be a clevis pin and a split pin that comes off. But oh no. That would be too easy. It would. It's dead. You've got a nut and a bolt that are actually mismatched, so it's just rammed together. If you're going to put a nut and bolt in it, at least put one in that's fing works. You know, you're up to about five pounds on the swear box, don't you? <laughs> In tight, long. Oh, okay, and that's all we've got time for this week. <laughs> yeah. That's actually the right bolt for the tank change. Right, now we can get that up in the air to get to the half inch bolt that's in there. Got to love a bit of Harley, haven't you? If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Yeah. Right. Your chain guard's just on a spring this end. Wiggle him around. Okay, I've got the battery box out. That bracket shouldn't be on there. Don't know. They were used to pack the battery out. Like I say, the wiring I've got to go, he wants to keep the wiring loom that's on it, but I'll just go through it all, reroute it all where it should be. Unfortunately, they've cut those tabs down by the looks of it. Oh shit. Six pounds. <laughs> that's been made, that's completely wrong. Ooh, never seen one of them before. You put an oiler in the top of that. That's what's called a grease packer. So you fill that up with grease, and as you screw that down, it forces it down into whatever you want to grease up. Oh, okay. But that's completely bloody wrong, so. That's been snapped and welded, look. Right, get a clutch out of the way. I know I've got, um, strip the clutch down anyway because the foot pedal doesn't work so we'll just take it off as a unit at the moment yeah right that's that lot out of the way all these are on wrong look they should be nuts and bolts through there and just tighten them up so they fold up nicely, they don't just flap around, you know. Okay, so now let's get the clutch cable off of here. Let's loosen the other side off, that should free that up a bit, I think. fits the hole in it. Yeah. That is an original though, so that's good. 
How can you tell that's original? Just by the ribs in it and um, the way it's built. If you see that, don't want to spill oil everywhere. See that rib there? If that's in one piece, it's a genuine original one. If it's got a break in it, then they're repro. Okay. The double lock nuts on there is completely wrong. You should either have a tab washer or there's a special nut that goes on there with a sort of like a groove cut in it. Tab's missing off the back of that. So why they've done something here, put a nut and screw through there, look. Mm -hmm. That should have a bracket on it that goes to that. I think we better get a new primary chain looking at that as well. Where's that corrosion come from then? It's been full of water. Oh, I see. Gearbox isn't bolted in, look. Nice. Mm. So you'd never ever adjust your chains properly. No, no, <laughs> if it's not locked mood. in, so it must have made a hell of a jolt when it sort of locked up and went forwards, I would have thought, you know. Miles too tight on the clutch as well, that should only be a, <coughs> just under an inch by one. I think this I mean what they are now. 31, 30 seconds or something, so only a 30 second of an inch, but it's enough to make a difference, you know. You'd never be able to adjust anything up properly with it that tight up, mm. which would indicate possibly the clutch plates have had it to stop it slipping, you know. That's not good. That should just fall off of there. That means that the push rod that goes through the gearbox has probably smudged or welded itself into the end of this. Mm. Yeah, that's just wedged itself straight in the end of that. But not the end of the world. Reasonable. All bearings just falling out the end of that one. All bearings falling out the end of that one. Oh, I can put new ones in there, they should be clipped in. Reasonable. All bearings are falling out of everything. Somebody's had a go at doing these. Bugger them up. See, they should be clipped in there like that so they don't fall out. Yeah, those ball bearings that's pinged out, look. Yeah. They should be clamped in there properly. What it means is where, where, you know I said to you it would have taken up with a hell of a bang. Yeah. All it's done, instead of being smooth operating, it's just bash those straight into the edges of those. Yeah? Yeah. So it's just mullered them. It's going to repair them all, but with the gearbox being hanging undone, you'll never get it right. See, that should be dry. It's just mullered, isn't it? Mm. worn out but you can get the uh, I can't remember what they're called now the long bearing kits for them it really isn't the way to do this but so just explain what exactly what's happened here well they've either either the threads bollocks on the end of the um, output shaft yeah. on the gearbox or the switch bollocks in the in the nut or they put thread lock on it so that should just should unscrew just by your fingers should be a lock tab in here lock what special lock washer and all you do is punch the lock washer down into those grooves to stop it coming undone okay once it's done up tight but obviously if you if you get the right socket for one of these, it's a lot of help, but I can't seem to find one. It doesn't help, the gearbox is flapping around either. That's easy, isn't it? You're going to launch that, aren't you? I would say they just put thread lock in it, but...
anywhere, do you remember me saying before, anywhere where there's basically grey muck, mm. that's either bearings or aluminium in pieces. Yeah, this shouldn't be here at all. Oh, these should have special lock tabs in them as well that are missing. To stop all that letting go and hitting the inside of the train case. Now, if there's one thing you should have put thread lock on, it was them. Ugh. I can't believe that gearbox isn't even done up. Right, now we've got to take the outer cover off the other side and get the chain off. See, that basically is your adjuster. It's all just been put together on the hand clutch, which is quite normal, actually, because they're quite a nondescript thing to find out about, but they, uh, they did work very well. You can keep fanning around them, you'll get them to work in the end. But the hand clutches were never good. Got rid of it, didn't it? Right, let's take her out of cover off. Can't believe that gearbox is that loose. Get over it. Get over it, bitch. Criminal activity to Harley Davidson's. That's why that was wedged in the end of that thing. Shouldn't be tapered off like that. They are tapered off slightly, but not as much as that. See, somebody's filed it or some dump, something weird to yeah. it. Right, let's find our king link. Here he is. Come off. <laughs> it's quite amusing, isn't it? How bollocks can you get one gearbox? That's seriously knackered. You can make it bend within that much length. Yeah. <laughs> it's added. Right. I don't even want to look inside this. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> thinking how many different angles of the same shot can I get? <laughs> what monkey put this together? <laughs> I don't know why all these are loose. They shouldn't be loose. They should be screwed in. And they're the guide locators for the base of the gearbox. All the studs that are coming into the gearbox are loose. I don't quite know why yet. All the wrong nuts clearly don't work. People should be shot sometimes. That's your adjuster bolt. Sits in, you see that little groove there? And that bit of that bolt sits down in that groove. So as you wind it backwards and forwards, it moves your gearbox that way yeah. to tension your primary chain. You can get them out, but it's an absolute pig. So take that out, just tilt the gearbox up a little bit and you can unwind it and it gets it out of the way for when you're removing the gearbox, yeah? Okay. Probably that coil's in the way. That's it. Right. Right, those should be tight in the bottom of there because they go straight into the gearbox casing so I shouldn't think that's got any oil in it at all it's all pissed out the bottom by now yeah. <clears throat> that's obviously weld
Right, well that's all welded, look. Chances of that holding oil, pretty f***ing slim, because the trouble with them is, you they hold, hold oil for so long that it gets what they call ingress, the oil gets into the aluminium. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much you try, you won't ever weld them properly. Right, that there is going straight into the gearbox. So there's no way on this planet that's ever going to hold oil. I can certainly play around with it and mess about with it, but... Alright, oh, let's put the top off and have a look. That's all been welded as well. All the way around there. That's all weld. That's got araldite in it. That's got water in it. Trouble is, you see, if it's pissing oil out, if it's been outside in the rain, it'll just let water in. That's it, that's the problem. You know, it? whatever's leaking, it's got to let shit in, hasn't it? Is this as bad as you've ever seen, or have you seen worse? Casing wise, yeah, this is the worst I've ever seen. Obviously, been done in England because all of these threads, Allen key bolts, are metric. If it was in the States, they wouldn't really use metric at all. Yeah. So, you can get new casings? I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Probably, but in serious, not going to be very cheap at all, I wouldn't think. It's all good and well if it's welded and it holds oil, but that side piece there, never going to seal. Mm. I can build it up with weld, I can faff about on the milling machine, but by the time you've done all that, done a load of hours labour, you know, if they're 300 euros, just get a case in. Mm. But we'll have to have a look and see. I mean, everything on the inside is replaceable, so... I mean, this doesn't even feel like it's... None of it's done up tight. That'll be why the kickstart was slipping. That's more than a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big bit. That should be about six thou. <laughs> not, not six inch. <laughs> yeah. This is worn out. Right, so that has got the grub screw in it. I just don't know what they've done there then. Right, the thread's completely bollocksed in that. What I've got to try and do is get it out somehow. I think that's completely wrong. Should have one with a wide band in it as well. It sits there. Yeah? That sits out the end of the casing, so you can get something to tap it out. Yeah. And there should be another groove in there <coughs> to take an oil seal. Which, that's not the end of the world, I can machine a groove in that. Well, nothing looks horrendously bent in there. It's just be completely shimmed up wrong, so... Yeah, nothing looks like, mind you, there's a f***ing great washer in there. What would you say that is, about a quarter of an inch? That should be five thou. And the bushes are at it, look, that shouldn't be rocking, that should be sliding. Bit of, no, look, the nut ain't even done up. That should be... Uh, Six thou again, I think. And that's not even done up, look. Well, it is done up, but it's just bollocks. I think this could be worst gearbox so far. Looking at things. And we've seen some pretty bad ones. Got both wood roughs in it. No oil seal in it. That should be an oil seal. So that would have pissed oil out as well. Teeth are gone. See them hooked. Going that way? Yeah. The sprockets had it. So what would have caused this? Is it just put, being put together wrong or is it 
been completely assembled wrong or is it because it's been sitting outside for a long time is it the age of it it's a combination of everything i would expect you know you can't yes they'll go in and out of gear but eventually they will go bang yeah. which is what this has done before hence the big hole in the back of the casing what it's done is spat that out there it's got a screw in there to hold your shifter shaft in which is wrong there should be a stud on the other casing just goes in that hole there yeah to stop that coming out but ultimately this is the reason for this is because it's been put together wrong yeah old age and put together wrong yeah so if you're riding your bike what's the telltale signs that the gearbox has been put together wrong or something's not quite right just hard to get in and out of gear um this must have been horrendous so if you have to force it, something shouldn't have to force it. You just click, you literally push it with your thumb. I mean, sometimes just to get them into gear, first gear, they're a bit quirky, you know. But as long as the clutch is operating well, but this must have been seriously bad. But people just ignore it and then they just... Oh yeah, just keep riding. Oh, that's just the way my bike is. Yeah. Now selectors out. Undone. So that would have fallen apart at some point. They, I mean, they've got to be tight, tight with special lock washers on them. Yeah. So that's would have fallen apart. What's the worst part of it you've seen so far? Casing. I don't even think there's any point in trying to repair it properly. Mm. You know, providing none of the gears have got great chunks out of them or anything like that, you can reuse all the internals. It's not an issue. You just got to get um get all the shims and bushes for them, which we know how to do. I put Allen screws in there, Allen headed instead of countersunk, and then ground them off so you can't get an Allen key in them. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean realistically, that's more for the swear box. Fuck. Right, that looks like it's been threaded all the way through. These are knackered anyway, so let's see if they'll come out. I want to see if the casing will come off first. That bush is dead. That bush is dead. They should be quite hard to pull out. And it's just fallen out. With your faulty needle rollers. Ew. Right. But that is seriously bad. What the f*** have they done with that? Right, that's got no needle rollers in it at all. Somebody's made phosphor bronze bushes up which is completely wrong that's gone there completely that edge there should be nice and flat it's all smudged over springs gone and it needs new tripper bolts as well I would say there probably wasn't enough bearings in that race down there as well washer in the wrong side well that definitely didn't have, didn't have enough needle rollers in there which is probably why it was all loose they're the wrong length as well good isn't it struggling to find something that's good yeah see this ribbed area yeah that should all be one smooth surface oh okay yeah you can actually see the lip in that so yeah. it doesn't matter what you do to that doesn't matter how much you try and pack it put the right needle rollers in it yeah. It'll never ever work. That's had it. All the ends smudged over. That's because they've made it with phosphor bronze bushes. And tried to put that steel in there, look. To take up the slop. See that countersunk edge there? On the phosphor bronze? See it tapering inwards? It's a bit hard to see actually. 
that's where that's been winding through the end of it that piece there so that went in there and just chewed itself to death which is why the kickstart was slipping slipping shipping right our kickstart shaft bush in the back of the gearbox is dead that's proper at it which that must have been clanging around like an absolute pig so it's just going to smash everything that's the trouble with it once one bit goes yeah it just wears everything out straight away <coughs> Right, so they've had it, that's actually been made or added. Yeah, they've made that, that's completely wrong. Because they couldn't get their end flow. You know I said that centre gap should be five thou? Mm -hmm. Well, they've put that in it to try and compensate for it somehow. That's completely wrong, that shouldn't be in there at all. That should be your thrust washer there. That selector fork's a bit worn, I would get one of those for the sake of the pennies that they are. See? That's where the gearbox has just been completely out of line with everything. So that, when it's in neutral, something was rubbing on that all the time. Yep. So it should have, like, your play either side. What's happened with that? That's been repaired. So it needs two new forks. See, it's all that shape. See that flat bit in the middle, look? Oh, yeah. So that's been welded and ground or something like that that's had it shift the dogs yes they're worn but that's not the end of the world on those you've got to really really get those smashed to pieces before they won't engage gears you know what i mean i'd be inclined to get a new ratchet on that it has worn the nibs off and it's been smashing itself to pieces so i would get one of those sprockets wrong hasn't got an oil seal in the back imagine that well that bush there has had it i can tell you that now because it needs to stand out a lot prouder than that it's not actually that loose for one of these but it's still had it so that's where the gearbox has exploded look see all that denting and stuff in there mm, yeah. which is why that other fork had dents in it and stuff it's just all let go and stuffed the gears out the back of the gearbox and snapped the nose off I hate to say it, and I don't like saying it to people, but that, that's not even worth trying to mend, realistically. Yes, it can be done, but you're going to spend a fortune in labour trying to machine it all, and, yeah. you know, it's just not, it's not worth it.